Stuart, you're the new manager of Motherwell Football Club. How does that make you feel? No, I'm immensely proud um, is, is the first emotion. You know, that's the, that's the first feeling. Um, it's been a whirlwind sort of eight, nine days, whatever it's been since I was asked to, to, to take the role on an interim basis. Um, but genuinely, really, really proud and excited for, for the challenge that awaits. Um, I, I look at the size of football club. Um, I look at the atmosphere that's been in here in the last two home games. Um, I look at the people that surround the football club and there's a, there's a real willingness and, you know, the, those aspects have, have got a real kind of burning desire within me to take this job on and, and to see if I can, can drive the football club forward and, and hopefully be a catalyst in what can be a good chapter to a, to a football club. I'm conscious that I, I, I'm always big in celebrating the history of a football club, which n is never erased. And I think that all you do when you get an opportunity to take a role as a manager, and, and I have said this in the past, is you want to try and add your little bit to that, that proud history that this football club undeniably has. It's been two years since you were in a manager's role. Why now? Why was this job the most attractive one? Yeah, again, I'll, I'll say one or two things that I have done in the past, in, in, in the past eight or nine days, that it wasn't a thing that was that was my focus. Um, I had a real focus and, and, and determination to develop players, and, and that was the role that I came to the football club for. We all know that those situations can change, um, which it has done dramatically here in, in, in that last period of time. Um, but, you know, it has got a real kind of fire burning inside me. Um, I've had a, a real good taste for it. I feel that we've had a, a good response from the players in that, in, in that, that period. We realised that that's not... Um, that, that that's not the making of your season, but what it is is a foundation and a, and, a, and a starting point. And from that point of view, it excites me to then go and work with that group of players. It, go and, it excites me to work with the staff that are already in the building and, and we'll potentially have to add to that as we move along as well, just to try and structure things the way that I believe is right and, and through conversations with the chairman, the board, that, that I knowledge of that we have to try and strengthen in certain areas. But that, again, that all appeals to me and it's, and it's something that I think can help shape what comes forward. From all fans listening to this, what, what can they expect from you as manager of this club? I've, I've always been very simple in this. I think that my passion is, is undeniable. I think my passion for football is undeniable. I, I think when I have a cause and something to fight for, um, then hopefully people have seen that in, in, in the, last, the last few days. Even in the role that I had as, in charge of the 18s and the reserve, I, I've always had a passion for whatever I do. I always take on a task and a challenge when I think there can be a, a success. Now, you don't sit uh, taking on roles when it's fighting relegation and um, maybe a starting point and, and a development role. You can't always see that success directly in front of you, but you have to have a genuine belief that you can push boundaries and that you can achieve something. So that, has, that, that brings out my passion uh, and I firmly feel that that will be the case here at Motherwell. I also think that my work ethic is is a big factor. Um, I, I've always been a guy, not 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 to show off, but I become obsessed. I become obsessed with what I think will work and how I can try and drive and, and get the best out of people. And I keep using the word development. I wouldn't take the role on if I didn't feel there was aspects that we can develop here. The, the, always the blatantly obvious one for me is the players. We want to try and develop and help players improve. Um, hopefully we've done that for a short snippet here um, in, in the last two games. But again, that's, that, that's the very start. It's the tip of the iceberg. And I, I genuinely believe there's guys in that dressing room that we can make better and help become better. I'll say you're a facilitator. You don't make anybody better. You facilitate it and you try and give them the right information and, and, and try and push some buttons. And I believe that I can do that along with the help of the staff here and with some real good members of our playing squad as well. So that's the type of thing that excites me. And it's the thing that I believe is synonymous with this football club as well. I think that you have seen players develop and, and, and reach real highs and, and sometimes they move on for the football club but again I think that that is an evolution of a, a playing squad but I also think it's an evolution of a football club too. You've obviously been at the club since August. Has, has that helped influence this decision but has it also helps you understand how this club operates? Yeah, it has. And, and, and the bit that jumps out to me, again, is the structure of the football club. You know, it's a fan-owned football club. For me, it's a, a, a very, very good community club, which, again, I feel I've had experience of that before. 
think it's so important that you join that up and, and, and you, you drive an energy from both. The football club gives the community and it gives the supporters something to be proud of um, and, and also the supporters and the community give uh, the football team something to go off of and, and, I, and I think that that can become a really strong thing without uh, becoming too emotional in it or anything like that. I, I think that that can become a really, really strong thing. I think this football club is unique. You know, every club has to be unique in my opinion. You have to have your own identity, your own culture um, and, and that's something that I've been able to see over the last few months. Yes, through a difficult period of time, but you can still peel the layers back and see what, what's possible. Um, and, and, and now, quite simply, it becomes my job to, to try and drive a football club to success, however that looks, however unique that is, it now becomes my job to, to try and drive that club to success. And, and again, something that, that, that really appeals to me. It has been a difficult period for the first team. But this isn't the first time you've found yourself in a situation like this. How much do you think that experience is going to help us get out of it? Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll draw on many of the experiences that I've that I've seen in the past. I, I, I think I'm an open and honest person. I, I haven't got everything right in the past, uh, as in you don't get every decision right. No manager or coach does uh, at any point. Um, but I do think that I got a number of things right, and, and I do think that I was I was able to achieve a real good degree of success from a similar position that that, that I take on this role. Um, so I'll draw on many of those experiences, decision making, um, the emotional intelligence, what I keep speaking about as well. In, in terms of what's happening in game, how you get to that game, and I think from 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 my point of view that. 20 months out of football as well helps you. I've, I've heard a lot of managers and coaches recently saying that you have to maximise that period of time to try and become a better individual. I think you have to try and under, understand the game better. Um, but it's also gave me a real, um, a real stretch to look at different teams and players and, and managers and, and, and put my focus on to what I think I can bring to a team, but also how that can work in, in, in our favour against other other opponents. So there's, there's many factors of it, but I genuinely think that I come to Motherwell a better manager manager than I was previously at Ross County and, and for me again I, I hope that that's something that appeals to the general public and the Motherwell supporters I hope the the, the, the first team playing staff and, 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 and the squad here really appreciate that and, and can see that but from a personal point of view I think it gives you a real degree of confidence that you, you feel that you can do something that you can achieve something as a as a football club so no there's a lot of aspects there that I've worked on to try and improve um, and, and, and I hope that I can bring that forward. It was obviously quite a successful week last week when you were in charge with your two matches. Did that just show that we do have a foundation here that we can now build on going in towards the latter stages of the season? Absolutely. In, in, in simple terms, you know, the, there are some real good players. I keep going back to players all the time, which I think is really important because we don't have a transfer window to work with moving forward between now and the end of the season. The group of players we have in there is what we've got and, and I'm very happy with that. You know, if, if I wasn't, I wouldn't have taken the job. If we felt that there was a major issue there, you know, it, it wouldn't. you may not have taken on the role, but absolutely when I was offered it, I felt that there was an excitement to work with the guys that are in there. There's a group that have started two games in a row, you know, I didn't make any changes from the St Mirren game to the to the Hearts game, but that doesn't mean to say that there's not a, a strength and depth there as well. There's, there's other good options. And I think that, that that does, again, I keep using the word, that keeps, it keeps excites me. It's something I want to get in amongst. They've shown, they've shown a good response, but I also think, again, that that is the start point. I think there's so much more to come from the players that are in there um, and so many other options that can come from maybe the treatment room just now, but hopefully in the, the, in the coming weeks that these guys can add, add a, a strength and a depth to what we've got. And again, who knows? The two games were, 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 were very good, but I think it's important that we all realise that it was in a whirlwind week and we're going to have to settle down and get a feel for each other and understand how we all work um, and how I want to work here. Um, but I think in doing that, then I, I think that we can go and look to see if we can put ourselves on a, a pretty decent run that can have us focusing further up the table than you know looking in, uh, in behind us and, and worrying about what's coming behind us. And we can only... Uh, have that attention to detail and that focus on what we do. We can only control that. It was a really good weekend for us with the other results and, and obviously our result on, on the Sunday. Um, but I think just moving forward, that focus and that emphasis has to be on the qualities we have in that dress room and, and how we get the best out of it. Thanks for your time, Stuart, and congratulations. Thank you.